Hello from brothers and sisters, in this video we are going to check replication of Carl Ancelotti tactic in FM 2023. If you are for the first time on my channel, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe. Now let's check the tactic guys. So guys, with my replication of Carl Ancelotti tactic at Real Madrid I won the league very easy. I had like 11 points more than the Barcelona, only 4 loses, 3 draws, 31 win and 96 points. And tactic is information, of course. 4-3-3. This is how I see Carl Ancelotti tactic in FM 2023. Complete forward. Who else than Karim Benzema? He's someone who's going to hold the balls. He's someone who's going to create chances for the others. He's someone who's going to score the goals. Uh, classy striker, yeah. And probably one of the best strikers in the world, yeah. Then on the left side, inverted winger. Uh, that's Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. is cutting inside and leaving space for the, on the left side for uh, Mendy. So Mendy is coming up, Vinicius Jr. is cutting inside, Vinicius Jr. has some awesome dribbling uh, and this is why his role is uh, as inverted winger or inside forward, but I see him as inverted winger. Right side, someone who has fantastic season this year and that's Federico Valverde. He is playing brilliant football this year. Uh, he can play in the middle, but this year he's playing more on the right side as a winger and he's scoring a goal. He has like uh, six goals till now. Fantastic player Valverde. Uh, then Mezala. Mezala taking duty uh, for this role. I see Luka Modric. Luka Modric is someone who is creating, someone who has um, a lot of movement uh, and uh, still adorable player. He's 37, but he still plays some fantastic football. Right side. CM support duty. Actually, I was thinking about two roles. I was thinking to give him deep line playmaker support duty, and that's Tony Cross. Yeah, Tony Cross is a fantastic player. Also, he's playing something between uh, deep line playmaker support duty and something between CM support duty. But somehow I don't see him standing in the middle. He's running uh, and he's helping attack. He's helping defense. I mean, this is the main reason why I gave him a uh, role CM support duty. Tony Cross with uh, take more risks, get further forward and tackle harder. Ball winning midfield, that's a new phase, that's a fantastic uh, wonder kid, uh, French wonder kid, uh, Chao Mani, fantastic player for this role, in real life also playing really good, uh, he's playing better and better. Check this, physical attributes, mental attributes, adorable ball winning midfield, so he's playing instead of Casemiro and they did really good job signing this fantastic uh, French young player okay then right side the right side wing back uh, who else than danny carvajal uh, he's still very good player he's 31 but he's playing as a wing back support duty he's coming up uh, sometimes he's, uh, and still has some okay crossing not bad stamina some physical ass but he's not still not slow player pair of central defenders uh, both of them in my opinion are creating uh, uh, both of them starting actions this is why i think that they're playing as a ball playing defenders that's Eder Militao and that's David Alaba. Alaba can play on the left side also as a left back. Alaba is actually classy, classy ball playing defender. With his passing skills, he is uh, he's with, uh, one of the best players of Real Madrid. And on the, on the goal, there is the best goalkeeper in the world, that's Thibaut Courtois. Fantastic sweeper keeper. I'm using him as a sweeper keeper, defensive duty. Okay, now let's check team instructions. In my opinion, it's a positive mentality, shorter passing, slightly higher tempo. And in my opinion, this year, uh, most of attacks are coming from the left side, where we have Mendy and we, where we have uh, um, Junior, yeah, Vinicius Junior. So I, this is why I choose overlap left. Okay, uh, then uh, work ball into box, play out of defense, low crosses, uh, in transition counter press counters, take short keys to central backs. They're starting most of actions. Defensive line is not that high, I mean, it's maybe a bit higher. And of course, they're playing with a really big pressing on opponents. Okay, uh, now I'll check all the results and how this tactic looks on the pitch. So guys, with this tactic, I had really fantastic defense. This is a bit weird. Uh, we were conceding only with 0.53 goals per game. This is nothing because we played against really good clubs. Uh, we were scoring 2.4 goals per match. This is another fantastic thing. So great defense with this tactic. And Real Madrid also has some really brilliant play players, of course. Okay, and when we are uh, now, let's check team detail stats. Team detail stats is saying that we had possession 60%, average possession. This is awesome. Atletico Madrid 63, Barcelona 60, same like we did. 
Okay, goals. We scored 91 goals in the league. Uh, one goal more than Barcelona. And now let's see our defense. Uh, we had uh, the best defense in the league. Only 20 goals. We didn't in whole, yeah. This is the best defense in the league, that's for sure. I want to see one more thing, how many chances we have created. Yeah, I want to check that. Chances created, the best in the league. 188. Almost 40 more clear-cut chances than Barcelona. When we are speaking about my players this year, Karim Benzema, 30 goals, 11 assists, average rating 7.25. Awesome. Vinicius Junior, fantastic season, 16 goals, 11 assists as an inverted winger. Marco Asensi, also fantastic season, 15 goals, 12 assists. In my opinion, he's a brilliant player, I am. Too bad that he had uh, so many injuries in real life. Okay, Eduardo Camavinga played uh, most of games instead of cross. Uh, 12 goals, 6 assists, average rating 7.08. Uh, Rodrigo, 12 goals, 4 assists. Federico Valverde, like in real life, 10 goals, 10 assists, average rating 7.18. Great season, Luka Modric, Adam Mitro. Almost whole uh, team did really, really well. This was my match against Valencia 5-1, really interesting game. Uh, we played really fantastic football and one counter-attack. Valverde has the ball, Valverde is playing as a CM in this match. Pass it to Benzema. Benzema is a complete forward. He's always involved in creating chances. He comes down to receive the ball and now he's waiting for the other players. Uh, Benzema again, a uh, great pass to Valverde again. Valverde is running up there. We see that Asensio, who was playing as a right winger, is coming up there. We have like uh, five guys running in counter-attack. That's Vinicius Jr. That's Alaba, who was playing as a Mezal in this match. Benzema, uh, Valverde and Asensio. And Asensio. Asensio gets the ball right side. And it's putting a really nice goal from the counter-attack. I mean, I know this is still beta version of FM 2023, but I will put down a link in the description and you will be able to download this tactic, try this tactic, enjoy some football. Your, your team is going to play like Carlo Ancelotti in real life. Thanks for watching. See you and bye-bye.